All right, so today we're going to be doing something cool and it's not GSAP because it just happens not to be, but it's as cool as GSAP. You could do this with GSAP, but I think this is better because it's super native to Elementor and it's very easy to maintain for everyone, even if you don't know how to code. So let's get into it. All right, we are going to be adding another container inside here and we are going to be creating a few containers, which will have and hold our image and our text okay so i'm gonna set this container again to full width yeah and i'm actually going to give it a size of 85 percent yeah height of five but this, this depends very much on your own you know design wishes okay also let me just go to the parent container and set this to be center and align items center as well and also let's yeah this is fine okay let's go back to our container again and let's set the direction to be row reversed yeah align item center and let's go back to advanced and set the padding to be 20 and 20 left and right and i'm gonna publish this and i'm gonna add my two items okay so we're going to have an image and a heading in here so let's go to add elements let's add an image <laughs> this is pretty big and let's set this to be full width let's go to style let's set this to be 100 ph 100 percent 100 percent height again 100 percent yes and default cover and center center anything else we leave it like this then let's set the size to be none and our width we are going to set this to custom 45 percent and that's it yeah when it comes to the image of course <laughs> now we're gonna go and add a heading so i'm gonna use the heading widget in here drop it in here exactly like that and i am going to say motion graphics here okay that's not how you spell it <laughs> all right okay uh let's go to style let's change the typography to something that i have here i don't know this one i think this is pretty cool size let's say four which is pretty good i'm not sure if this is hot no it doesn't have a bigger yeah i think this is okay let's just go for 4.5 and publish i'm gonna just add an image in here image go to content go to choose an image so let's go with actually you know what let's just go with this these are pretty cool and who cares <laughs> if it's not related to motion graphics and let's change the color of this uh, text let's just go back here and this is going to be quite transparent but when we hover over it this will change to white okay so i'm gonna publish this and actually i want to switch the size i don't know why it went like this let me just have the heading align left let me just publish again i think we are good so far what we could do is add already animation on the heading so when you hover over it does something okay so let's go to advanced go to transform go to hover Go to offset and set the offset X to 35. Yeah, and we're going to set the transition duration to 400, just like that. And let's publish. And honestly, I think I am going to switch this. Wait. Yeah, this is much better. Yeah, for now, this works. Okay, we are going to play with this in a bit, but let's just continue. And what I'm going to do is I am going to add also classes on this. So the image has a class and the heading has a class. So before I duplicate this, because we can duplicate this, I don't have to do this over and over until we reach the point of having all the elements on the page. We just duplicate. Okay, it's much easier. So the image has the class of image one. Yeah. I'm going to drop it in here and the container itself i know it makes no sense but it's text okay you can name it whatever you want just as always make sure that you name it everywhere you change the class everywhere anyway let's just duplicate this yeah so let's just do five of this duplicate 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 and we have five let me just go and change the image in all of them i hope i have five images that kind of look 
the same uh, because it's nice you know and then we are going to be adding our css and let's see if it's working this one and let's go to the parent container and i'm gonna drop it in here so we make sure that we have all covered all right so let's go back to our containers and yes i made a mistake i was right in the beginning to do this and just do this change the direction to row reverse okay in each container that is holding all this i missed one and this is pretty cool okay let's just see it on the main page of course you can change this uh let's say 3d animation oh my god i'm not good at typing on camera editing action right so uh we could also change the the text to make it a little bit more cool so we change we could change to a different font something that is a little bit more thick i guess it looks much better paste style and paste style and might be more interesting we can even make it bigger and this is very dependent on your font right paste style uh, so basically you need to play around with these options including the images actually images I, the images i think they're a little bit too big but again it depends very much on the style of the image if the images are landscape or portrait you need to adjust accordingly you know so you have to play with this but yeah here we go how cool is this i really love it and it has that super cool effect if you'd like to see what else you can build with elementor watch this playlist here or here and if you have gotten any value out of this video please consider subscribing liking and sharing this video and i'll see you next time bye